Okay, Thousand Ways fans, let's play a game. We'll pretend for a moment that you've actually spent some time reading books. Sooner or later, you would have come across the phrase, mad as a hatter. And you would have said to yourself, self, I wonder where that phrase came from. Here to answer that question is Barnaby, a Connecticut hat maker in the late 1800s. Excuse me, sir. I need to have my hat refitted. Do you do that? Barnaby was, to put it bluntly, out of his freaking mind. <laughs> this was a time when everyone wore hats, and hat makers were in big demand. But like Barnaby here, many of them went mad. It was a medical mystery that wasn't solved until decades later. <laughs> Swine! There's a term called Dansbury Shakes, which is refers to Danbury, Connecticut, which was the mega center of hat making in the United States and the world. It was a disease that hatters would get because of their exposure to the mercury that was used in felting the hats. And they would inhale the vapors and would cause mercury poisoning. And this was applied to the animal pelts. In Barnaby's case, his years of exposure to the toxic mercury fumes compromised his nervous system, causing brain damage, erratic behavior, and hallucinations. Finally, with his brain fried, his immune system shutting down, and his major organs damaged beyond repair, the mad hatter who once was Barnaby closed shop. Forever. When someone is exposed to mercury vapors over a long period of time, you will see progression of effects on the central nervous system to those that can be quite significant, including full body spasms. Combined with this, you would see kidney changes, and this would ultimately result in death. For Barnaby, making hats was a living, but the making made him mad. <laughs> he lost his mind, Swine! his customers, and his health. And then, it made him dead. <laughs>